Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics and so I hope that you're all doing really great this far today and so uh, we'll be talking about the various systems that are noted across the Atlantic Basin. So we have uh, Hurricane Martin, Tropical Storm Lisa and two disturbances and so uh, as we're going to be heading into the next several days uh, we could see the formation of yet another tropical cyclone and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to show your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video all right and so let's go ahead and kickstart things with lisa and so at the moment we're seeing here that the cyclone is uh dissipating really it has lost so much activity in association with it and uh during the next couple of days it's going to be continuing to weaken until it eventually dissipates but it is still a rainfall threat to sections of central america and so so the storm made landfall yesterday and i hope that right now everyone one is okay in Belize because uh, though Lisa was a category one hurricane that is still enough to do some significant damage especially in terms of the uh, heavy rainfall and so I hope that everyone there is doing great right now and so guys looking at the cone forecast for the system we're seeing here that Lisa has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and it is accelerating westward at 10 miles per hour and so uh, while well, it's going to be making its way to the west and eventually to the west northwest it could enter the bay of campeche and so uh there could still be a significant rainmaker for portions of southern mexico but it is not expected to re-intensify into something very major out there that is what's happening with Lisa. Again, it is still remaining a rainfall threat, though the cyclone is dissipating. And let's now go ahead and talk about Martin. And so looking at the satellite imagery of the cyclone, we can just tell from this that uh, the cyclone is moving very, very quickly. And of course, it is transitioning into a post-tropical cyclone, but a strong one at that. And so let's go ahead and look at the cone forecast for Martin. And we're seeing here that it is a hurricane of course with maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour and it is making its way to the north northeast at 46 miles per hour and so martin is expected to become post tropical later today and of course all the cyclone is going to be weakening as it gains more latitude and it could make its way into the vicinity of europe and bring some inclement weather conditions there as they're going to be heading into early next week and then next we want to talk about these two disturbances and so First up, we're looking at this one that is marked uh, currently out in the Atlantic. And so there's a 10% chance of development. But when this system makes its way uh, to the south and then to the west, it could possibly be absorbed by the next disturbance at the time uh, when a broad low pressure area is expected to form within that vicinity. And so looking at this one right here, we're seeing that there's a 30% chance of possible development. And uh, a low pressure area, a broad low pressure area is expected to form within this shaded region here uh, coming out from the Caribbean going to the Atlantic and uh, with the formation of that low pressure area it is likely that there will be an increase in moisture within the region which means there's a, uh, more of a probability of rainfall so let's see what's going to be happening as we progress into the end of this week going into early next week and so guys now let's go ahead and take a look at what the various model runs are expecting as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days and so we'll be looking at the GM and the euro and so uh, this is a map showing the humidity and uh, where we have more humid com where we have more humid or moist conditions that is where we're more to find uh, development of tropical cyclones and so that is indicated by the different shades of teal and then the browns indicate dry stable conditions and so that is something that tropical cyclones definitely hate so let's go ahead and see what the gfs is expecting and next we're looking for those black lines called isobars and isobars are lines of equal pressure and so when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure being at least below 10 30 
15 millibars. Uh, that is a low pressure system. And when you see them more compact and they're more abundant, that indicates a stronger system. And so let's go ahead and see what GFS is expecting. And so GFS is expecting that we're going to be having all that increase in moisture across the Eastern Caribbean as that broad low pressure area develops while headed to Florida. And then another low pressure area behind it. And then eventually GFS shows the system loitering a bit across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And we're not seeing where GFS is expecting a strong system here. So, uh, even if we do have development, maybe the system will be a weak tropical or subtropical cyclone at the most. And then looking at the euro now. So euro is expecting that we're going to definitely be having that broad low pressure area developing. But the model isn't showing too much happening for it. However, we see where we have all that moisture crossing into the Gulf of Mexico. And we see maybe a weak tropical storm there. But the system just succumbs to the dry environment around it. So here we have these two. Two models here expecting that uh, the system will be making its way into the eastern Gulf of Mexico at some point but of course this is not solid this is not guaranteed I mean that low pressure area has not even developed as yet so uh, there is so much that can take place between now and the next several days as you're going to be heading into next week and by the way uh, this is for the end of next week they're about for the euro when the system is expected to make its way into the Gulf of Mexico so quite interesting here both of these models are agreeing that uh, this is going to be what will happen with the system fortunately they're not showing anything too strong out there and so guys let's also go ahead and take a look at the simulated satellite imagery so this is what the satellite could potentially look like as we head into the next couple of days and this is from the gfs and so uh here we have the model expecting all that increase in activity across the eastern caribbean as that broad low pressure area develops and heads towards uh possibly towards the U.S. And so uh, this is not solid. As I said, there can be many changes because it is the weather we're talking about here and there have been many changes. So only time will tell what is really going to be happening as we progress into the next several days. And so looking at this graph right here we are seeing that between november and december we little to no activity really taking place but of course here we are seeing that we might have something else to be keeping our eyes on as we're going to be heading into the next several days and so the next name to be used for this atlantic hurricane season is nicole so let us see if uh, we're going to be having that disturbance developing as it is going to be heading from the caribbean going to the atlantic possibly to the u.s uh, but of course, as I said, nothing is guaranteed at this point in time because that low pressure area has not yet even developed. And there can be so many changes because we're talking about the weather and many changes are inevitable. And so that is what is on the horizon for now, guys. And uh, again, we have Lisa, which is a dissipating tropical cyclone. We also have Hurricane Martin, which is expected to become post-tropical as we're going to be heading into later today. And so I will keep you guys updated as time goes by and that is really it for now so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise.